Well, here we are in the middle of fucking nowhere because I was told by someone that there was a Russia base out here. Now, I actually do have a little reason to be suspicious about this. I mean, normally people message me cords all the time in-game because they know what I do to these bases. I do have a decent amount of spies working on the temp map at the moment, but one of them, the one that gave me these cords, was killed apparently. So I feel like I could be walking into a trap on this one, but I, you know me, I like to spring those traps. All right, I'm gonna drop down. It's straight ahead, so I'm gonna drop down below the waterline so it's harder to see me. Okay, yep, this is a legit rusher base, for sure. Oh, and they built with plenty of wood, my favorite. Yeah, they've got a lot of stuff here. I can't wait to take a look. I'm gonna bust these beds, I'll burn the wood, I'll raid the chests, you know, all in a day's work. The one thing that's kind of creeping me out is all these boats. There's tons of boats here. I'm starting to wonder where they all came from. Hopefully they weren't... Oh, you don't think they were all players that got killed, do you? If that's the case, this place is a fucking graveyard. I'm gonna just destroy this place and then get the hell out of here. Oh, there's the first customer for the day. Come here. That's a gold helmet. This will be easy. And he logged. Okay, that's one down. One less person I have to worry about when I destroy this place. Yeah, it's starting to burn real nicely. Now I'll just give... Oh, oh there's someone in diamond. Perfect. Hey, buddy, caught you napping. Oh, he's going to try to use the boats to escape. Not happening. Your ship is sunk, punk. Not even trying to fight back. All right, come here. Enough of this bullshit. Oh, I'll get in with you, I guess. No, the one time to lag. Oh, fuck. Looks like I'm going to have to try and catch up by boat. Because yeah, I'm not hitting shit from here. Ramming speed! I'm gonna take this clown down. He lagged ahead of me. Hopefully he doesn't combat log on me. Oh shit, he's got backup. Oh, this is an ambush. I knew it! Oh shit, they both have golden apples. Let me just reposition real quick, because they're just normal, so their effects will wear off real quick. All right, oh, it looks like we're gonna have ourselves a good old-fashioned naval battle. Whenever you stop pressing in a direction, you can actually attack. Boom, there you go. His ship is sunk. I gotta say, this is my first naval battle on 2B2T in the past three years. Watch this, I'm gonna no-scope his boat. Boom! His ship is sunk. While they're busy with their swimming lessons, I gotta finish the job here. After PvPing for six years, one thing I've learned is that you can use the environment to your advantage very well. People underestimate positioning. Even though I'm outnumbered, I can still stay alive if I can stay on the water, whether it's in boat or with my Depth Strider boots. Because they can't keep up. I can constantly kite them. Let me try and take this guy's boat out again. And boom! Alright. Oh, he's going to knock me in too. This is where the water comes in handy. I can just maneuver so easily, he can't even touch me right now. See, here's the issue. They have golden apples right now, and I don't. So I can kite all day, but I won't be able to make a kill unless I can deplete their golden apples. 
It's also difficult because once I get one down to low health, the other will jump in while the other recovers. So this is a very difficult fight right now. Alright, time to take the fight to the sea. Let's see him chase me now. They still have more golden apples. Man. I'm starting to wonder if this is even a fight I can win. There's another boat destroyed, and now he's in my territory. That is why Depth Strider is so useful when the other person does not have it. You can just maneuver in and out of punching range, and they can't do shit. I mean, they're not even landing any hits anymore. I mean, look at this! I'm sorry, but this should have been a textbook 2v1, and I should have been dead by now. This is extreme incompetence on these two players. They are just fucking terrible. My armor's not even protection 4, it's blast protection 1. I might as well be naked. That's right, you keep eating the apples, I keep slapping the shit out of you. I gotta make sure I keep tabs on my gear, because if it starts to get low, I'll have no choice but to actually retreat. At least they're attacking at the same time now, at least they're starting to get smart. I forgot I can quick scope this guy. Wait for it. Boom, boom. Out of arrows. Fuck. I forgot I don't have infinity. Even though this is a 2v1, I don't even feel like I'm in any danger because I'm just so maneuverable around these clowns. It's ridiculous. fish. Yep, my armor's very depleted right now. A few more hits and then I do need to retreat because mathematically I cannot win this fight. My armor's too depleted and they've just got too many apples. I can't make any killing blow on them. Yep, it's about that time. I'm gonna see you gentlemen later. We'll call this one a draw because even though I'm the one that's retreating, Let's face it, I was whooping both your asses, and if I had apples, you'd be toast. And at this point, I care more about preserving my zero deaths on the temp map than killing them and taking whatever shit armor they might have. Let me just hijack this boat and hightail it out of here. Oh shit, I got stuck! Fuck! There's gotta be another boat around here. All right, let me get the hell out of here now. Oh, you're on a boat too? Yeah, come close, and just like last time, I'll beat the shit out of that boat. Time for the old fake boat trick. Oh, he's buying it. Oh, he bought it. Uh, oh, whoo, that was close. Well, luckily I'm still in one piece. I've got most of the good gear and I destroyed that base for the most part. I'll have to come back another time with some reinforcements and we'll have some real fun. <laughs>